begin with our drawing. Use a regular graphite pencil for your drawing. I'm going to draw first two markings for the eyes. Let me show you some references. Okay, I'm going to choose the easy ones right now for the eyes. And I'm drawing the eyebrows and a J shape over here for the trunk. I'll also show you some references. You can pick the one which you like. Make a marking over here and here. Then make a U shape to complete the trunk. Add a V shape over here at the end of the trunk to complete it. Now you can add the tusk by drawing a V shape over here and here two slanting lines to complete the tusk. Now for the head you are going to draw a U shape this way. Try to complete the U this way for the head. It's okay if it slightly overlaps but make sure you draw it very lightly before you make the lines more darker. Now that my drawing is done, I'm going to make it slightly darker and I'll erase this later. Now for the body, I'll make two markings over here and one marking over here. Now because Ganesha has a bulgy body, that is why we need to make a big curve here
curved lines for the fingers. Now you need to just make a point in the center. Join this way to complete the modak. For details on the modak, you can just add few lines this way. Now you need to complete the shoulder line. So I'm just going to add one line over here, which is hardly seen, and one over here. Now I'm going to simply erase this part a bit because this is the shoulder part. I'm going to keep a curve line like this. and erase the lines which we don't need so i'm just rubbing the guidelines now if you want to further add legs you can add over here so just slant it line both the sides and join the first toe has to be a little fat so i'm going to make it fatter and the rest four the toes i'm going to draw lines to divide them and then draw the curve lines this way you may add one line here to draw the lace choose the options for the crown from here so let's start so for the peacock feather you can start from this point make an s shape you can see like a wave Okay, one wave, one more curve line. Now I'm going to draw the peacock feather over here this way. And add a double line inside and one more. You may add one line here. To add more details, you may add lines over here. But if you don't want to, you can skip this step. Okay, now this side, I'm going to start from here. I've made a marking, and I'm going to join this part of the ear. So I'm going to draw a curve line over here. Now the other curve line will start from here and you will draw slanting line curve and join now the other side also you're going to follow the same thickness to join over here and just add one more line this way to complete the crown of Ganesha can add a base on which Ganesha sits now I just drew a simple rectangle here to complete the drawing you're going to add a slanting line here and a slanting line over here now just add two more standing lines here and join this side also you will have to maintain the same gap and the same thickness and complete for drawing the Mushak Raj you can start from here a slanting line then go up curve and you can join here see this is sleeping this is slanting and curve now add the eyes over here and this is the nose and a C shape almost like a circle draw the ears you may add one more ear over here this way now you need to draw the body for the body you will start over here draw a big curve like this and join to the body you can draw the tail this way by drawing two standing lines one here 
one here this one is short and this one is long and go this way like an L here also like an L and you can repeat the same process behind now you can complete your picture by using a marker and tracing your drawing